All right, guys, I'm just going to talk about how uh, all home-based programs, it just comes down to numbers. All right, think about it. If you walk outside wherever you live and you ask five people to give you a dollar, okay, maybe, maybe not, you'll get a dollar. Who knows, right, because it's only five people. But if you ask a hundred people to give you a dollar, then guess what? Most likely, you're going to get a dollar, am I right? So that's how home-based programs work, okay? I try to simplify things as much as I can because it's really not a difficult thing. And I always say this, but if you are successful at one home-based program, you can be successful at any once you have a system in place. And that system just comes down to marketing and working with people that are successful. But I'm just here to talk about numbers right now. If, if, if you ask 100 people to give you a dollar and one person does it, let's just say, and you ask 100 people over a month, over 30 days, you ask 100 people and you make one dollar, well, then you make a dollar a month, right? Well, if you ask 100 people to give you a dollar in one day, well, then you make a dollar a day. That's $30 a month. That's 30 times the amount of money. So if you know you're going to have that ratio, and I don't care what you're selling, it doesn't matter if you're selling burgers, shoes, slippers, software, memberships, travel clubs, doesn't matter. Everyone has a ratio of how many people they sign up. Whether it's 10%, 20%, 80%, doesn't matter. You have a ratio. So the key is comes down to people. The more people that come to your website, the more people that are going to fill out the form, the more people that are eventually going to sign up. And that's it. It sounds simple, I know, but it really is that simple. So the big, biggest keys I can tell anyone, marketing, okay, if you don't know how to do it, then it comes down to working with people that are successful. Because I always say this, but someone cannot help you be successful if they're not successful. So it's going back to my Donald Trump analogy. You know, if Donald Trump walked into your house and said, here you go, here's a business plan, well, most likely it's going to work because he's successful. So the key is, you know, working with people that are successful because they're going to show you a way. And I don't care what anyone does. I don't care. All the people that are millionaires and big network marketers, it's all the same. What do they have? They have a, a ridiculous amount of people flowing in to whatever they're selling. You know, think about it. If, if, uh, if you put up a store, or let's say you put up a Walmart in the middle of Iowa and didn't tell anyone about it, well, guess what? You're not going to make any money because no one knows about it, right? Of course. Even though it's the largest company in the world and no one knows it exists, doesn't matter. They're not going to make any money. But if you set up a store, let's just say in, uh, in Times Square in New York City, and sold whistles, okay? No one really needs a whistle, right? But I guarantee you, you set up a store in Times Square in New York City, you will sell some whistles because there's a ridiculous amount of people passing by your store every single day to buy those whistles. I mean, you know, somebody will see the store and say, hey, you know what, I, I want a whistle. It's going to happen because eventually someone's going to do it. It's called critical mass, right? So anyway, it's just a numbers game, guys. Don't overthink it. Don't you know, stress too much about it. You know, the more people you speak to, the more people that are going to do it. And that's it. You know, so anyway, that's it for now. And, uh, you know, I'll talk to you later. Bye.